So you guys have seen a ton of closet declutters on this channel and I never really thought about how I approach these declutters in a way that is systematic and repeatable. I mean, it's a little bit of Marie Kondo, it's a little bit of Ivanka from the Tiny Moose, and I could never really quite put my finger on how I decluttered my way into my personal style. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the steps that I took and that I plan to take again in the future in future declutters to find my personal style and to help guide my future shopping. Because through these declutters, I'm able to really get a clear sense of what my style is because the pieces that I choose to keep are either pieces that I really like or that I wear all the time. And at the end of the day, isn't that your personal style? So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to build your own capsule wardrobe by decluttering your way there. And no, there will be no white t-shirt recommendations. You don't have to wear beige if you don't want to. And you can have as much color in there as you want. Let's get into it. Ah, the capsule wardrobe. You've heard the term. But who is she really? Well, if you search what is a capsule wardrobe online, you'll get a ton of videos sharing what looks to be similar pieces, usually in a neutral color palette, that mixes and matches to create a versatile wardrobe with endless outfits. If you Google what is a capsule wardrobe, you'll find a bunch of interpretations, but the common definition is that it's a collection of clothing that's composed of interchangeable items to maximize the number of outfits that can be created. Sounds pretty good, right? Notice that it doesn't say that it needs to be a certain number of items. I'm looking at you, minimalism. A certain color palette. Yes, that's you, beige. And the clothes don't need to be purchased from any particular store. It doesn't even need to be minimalist, so let's take that pressure off ourselves. A capsule wardrobe is meant to make things easier for us. Easier getting dressed in the morning, you're not wasting your time trying to figure out what to wear, and it can even solve the problem of the whole I have a closet full of clothes and nothing to wear issue. Because here's the thing, you actually probably have tons to wear, but it's likely that this is getting sort of muddied up by all of the confusion in our own wardrobes, pressure from trends on TikTok and Instagram, and let's be real, probably our own fantasy selves that we keep chasing this fabulous life that we're supposed to be living rather than the one that we actually do. So before we actually get into building building the capsule wardrobe, let's just remind ourselves of the goal. A capsule wardrobe is not necessarily for you to have less, as in the minimum. It's not about never buying anything ever again. And it's not even about having a closet full of basics that that one blogger on Pinterest told you to buy that one time. It's all about curating a wardrobe that you love, that's stress-free, that you actually wear, and that feels like you. So let's build one. Step one the purge. You thought that I was gonna tell you to put your shoes on and head to the mall, right? Nah, girl. A capsule wardrobe is literally already in your closet because you get dressed every day after all right now, right? For a lot of us, that capsule wardrobe is likely hiding behind a whole lot of clothes that you never wear. So before you go running to the mall to buy your perfect capsule wardrobe, let's start with our own closets. You can always fill in the gaps later, this is the whole point. And after the purge, they'll be easier to see. We love a financially responsible and sustainable queen after all. So the first major step in building your own capsule wardrobe is to do a major closet edit. No, you don't have to get rid of everything, so no pressure, but it's a great opportunity to take a look at what you already have and separate what you're actually wearing from what you're not and get all that organized. You want it out so you can see it. And if you guys want some help decluttering, you can always join me in a live closet decluttering and personal style discovery workshop. I run these workshops about once a month. I'll leave all the information linked down below. So once we've got to the point where we're gonna declutter our closets, I like to start with just my wardrobe. So things like shoes, accessories, makeup, jewelry, I like to deal with all of that later. We've all heard of the Marie Kondo method, just pull everything out and put it on the bed so you can see the whole thing at once. And now that you've got one big huge pile, you're probably a little bit overwhelmed, but that's okay. You're gonna start tackling this pile and dividing it into three smaller piles. Your hell yes, your hell no, and your maybe pile. So now that you've got everything on the bed where you can see it, and I'm sure it's pretty overwhelming, don't worry about it, we've all been there. And just start going through your pieces one by one. And this is where we get into one of my favorite piles, and that is our hell yes pile. 
You've heard of Marie Kondo talking about sparking joy. Well, for me, my version of spark joy is hell yes. You're gonna get a lot of information from this pile. Your hell yeses are the items in your closet that you, one, wear a lot, two, you love even though you don't wear too often, or three, they just make you happy. The clothes that you wear all the time might be a hell yes just for that reason. They're comfortable, they're easy, you reach for them every single week, it's a no-brainer. Or your hell yes can be like, oh my God, I love this shirt, I couldn't live without it. Either way, as you come across these pieces in your declutter, start putting them back in your wardrobe so you can see what you're working with. So for example, in my hell yes pile, there's a whole lot of crew neck t-shirts, a ton of blazers, no color and there's a lot of jeans and neutral colored trousers. I'm not seeing too many dresses. I'm not seeing a lot of patterns or embellished pieces. And that's how I would describe my style. These are the things that I'm really noticing that my hell yes pieces are pieces that I wear all the time. It's what I look like if you were to see me randomly on the street. This is my life and that's my style. And sprinkled in there are some other hell yes pieces like these crazy metallic blue boots that I barely wear, but they're still a hell yes to me. Don't worry about the size of this hell yes pile. This is you, this is your style, this is what you like. Keep what it is you want and what clearly speaks to you. Keyword being clearly. If it's unclear and you're kind of like not too sure about it, we have a step for that too. So with a hell yes, there can also be a hell no. This pile to me is pretty easy. It's the clothes that you never wear, that you can't stand, are damaged or don't fit properly anymore and you have no plans on wearing them again. Or you ask yourself, what was I thinking when I bought this? Don't worry, we've all had a piece or two like that in our lifetime. See? Your hell no pile is basically anything that makes you say immediately no. Cause I don't care. Yeah, immediately no. My... Immediately well. no. Immediately no. So we have our yeses and we have our noes, but what about our maybe pile? What about the pieces that you have some hesitation about that make you feel apprehensive? Maybe they're pieces that you paid a lot of money for. Maybe they're sentimental in some way. For whatever reason, they're not a hell yes, but they're not a hell no either. And these are the pieces I think that have the most potential in our wardrobes and pieces I think you can actually have the most fun with. So when it comes to your maybe pile and anything you feel a little bit apprehensive about, you can put it into one of two categories. You can either challenge yourself to style them or you can store them away for later. But I think these pieces need to be put to a little bit of a test and that is styling them. What I've learned by watching a bunch of slow fashion creators here on YouTube, like Alyssa Bell Tempo, Alison Bornstein, Sina from Use Less, they all talk about shopping your closet. And I think this is a perfect example of how to do that. So as you're going through your declutter and building your wardrobe back up, putting back the pieces that you love, if you feel maybe about a piece and you don't wanna store it away for later, see if there's a way that you can style it like this week. So for example, I'm gonna take this pair of neutral beige trousers that I have from the Frankie shop. I really never wear these. They are kind of like a nice to have. I feel like they give me a little bit of variety in my wardrobe, but on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, I don't wear them as often as I would like to. But I don't wanna declutter them and I don't wanna store them away. And I'm cool with that. But what I need to start challenging myself to do is styling the piece. And instead of taking a bunch of pieces that I feel maybe about and styling them all together at once, where I think it can start to feel even more uncomfortable and more like a costume. Take one item from your maybe pile and put it together with some of your frequent flyers. So if you know that you're a jeans, t-shirt and blazer kind of gal, can you swap out the jeans that you wear all the time and style that same outfit using this new pair of trousers that you're not quite sure about? If you can and the weather permits, plan your outfit for that week. See how it feels. Take a selfie, maybe try wearing it to work if it's appropriate, go out for a coffee or a dinner date, Plan an outfit around that maybe item and see if you can incorporate it back into your wardrobe and if it fits your personal style. And if it doesn't, then you know you can declutter it. Now, of course, not every piece that you feel maybe about is gonna be like weather or life appropriate for you to try styling it right now. You could have maternity clothes. It could be clothing that you like to hang on to in case your weight changes, or you just don't have the mental capacity to wanna style with it and wanna deal with it right now. Store it away and revisit it in three or four months and repeat this entire process all over again. And at that point, you can try styling it, or maybe you didn't even think about it in the past three months and you can declare that piece. 
There are no rules when it comes to which item you choose to put in whatever category. This whole exercise is simply to get rid of everything that's in the way so you can see what remains more clearly because that's gonna give you a really nice picture of what your actual personal style is right now. And that takes us to step five, which is bam, your capsule wardrobe. Look at that, how good does that look? Look, it's a capsule wardrobe and look, it's more than 40 pieces or it could be less. Or look, there's color. There could be color in yours, it doesn't matter. Once you've decluttered your closet and really sort of intentionally put back the pieces that you know you love, that you wear a lot, or the pieces that you're gonna challenge yourself to style, when you put all that together, I think you'll be able to see what your aesthetic and what your taste is a lot more clearly. We got rid of all of the what was I thinking pieces, all of the damaged pieces that we've been sort of procrastinating getting around to decluttering anyway. All the items that were in the way can really reveal your own personal capsule wardrobe. And once you've done this, you might see from here that you want to fill some gaps. There might be some pieces that you've decided that you want to add to your wardrobe. And I think when you look at it from this perspective, it can really make your future shopping a lot easier because you can clearly see what your aesthetic is. You can clearly see if maybe some colors that you know you like are missing from your wardrobe. Maybe you decided you want to add like a cardigan or a dress. You realize that all of your shoes are the same color and maybe you want to spice it up there, whatever it is. I really feel that the key to figuring out your personal style and getting started on that journey is by doing a good declutter first. And doing this exercise has really helped me essentially declutter my way to my personal style. I had over 350 pieces of clothing. I was buying new pieces on a weekly basis. And at the end of the day, I didn't know what I had. I would buy pieces randomly just because they were nice or they were on trend. And in spending that money that I worked so hard to earn, I never once thought about how that piece would fit into the rest of my wardrobe, how I was actually gonna wear it, and if it was even my personal style at all. So if you are looking to build your own capsule wardrobe or if you're on a journey to find your own personal style, I really encourage you to try this method to do a little bit of a closet purge and just see what you're working with. Always remember that personal style is completely personal. It's also allowed to change and evolve as your lifestyle, your tastes, and your responsibilities change. But I always think that that style evolution starts with the closet you already have at home. So that's it. That's how you build a capsule wardrobe. You don't need any specific pieces in there. You don't need to follow a certain color palette. And I'm not gonna tell you to run out to Aritzia or Everlane and spend your whole paycheck buying the same pants as everybody else. Your personal style starts with you. It starts with the closet you already have. So let me know what you find in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you end up doing this exercise, let me know, tag me on TikTok or on Instagram. I will leave all the information down below. And if you want some help in getting kickstarted with your own closet declutter, capsule wardrobe building journey, you can join me for for a live closet declutter and you can check out the link down below for future dates. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one guys. Bye.